This week I thought I would do a video on organisation, specifically organisation in uni rooms and shared house rooms, so very student based, because I need to sort out my room and I thought some of the tips might help. All of these tips applied when I was in student accommodation at uni and now that I'm in a shared house because obviously I'm still applying them because I'm about to do them. I am focusing on doing some organisation in my room and I started and then I figured I could probably make a video out of this because I'm getting stuff out of the way like laundry today so I thought I would add some organisation to my drawers and other things in my room. As you can see I've already started folding and if people recognise it that is the Marie Kondo folding method and so far I've got a pile for wrestling t-shirts, a pile for music t-shirts, TV reference shirts, basically plain shirts and plain shirts and this is going to be the black shirt drawer and then colours and then vest tops and stuff. So I'm going to start. This is how I was putting my shirts in before, which is fine, but clothes get quite creased this way. That's the pile of coloured ones I've got to do. I've got to take the black ones out of here and finish doing this one. And we are done organising, except for laundry, but that will go in later. So, first drawer, we've got bodysuits that don't need bras, plain black tank tops, other black vest tops which aren't plain, colourful vest tops, colourful bodysuits, black bodysuits. Checkered shirts, normal shirts. Next drawer, sports t-shirts. It was just wrestling for the black one, but I've got football shirts as well. Musical slash show t-shirts. Music, thin long sleeve tops. TV and film and game tops. Long sleeve shirts. Plain ish shirts and ones without prints at all. Down here again, wrestling, music, media. Plain ish, plain. Long sleeve, thin long sleeved musicals and show t-shirts. I've got to put the laundry in now. Another thing that I need to organise, as you can see, is this rail. It came with the room. I'm not buying another one. The only way I will do that is if this one breaks. As you can see, it's very wonky and it kind of completely blocks off my clothes and books. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this to here. That way it can lean against the wall and it shouldn't have that problem and then it shouldn't break. And it's here. I need to get out one of those stickers that stops things from scratching on the wall, but I will do that in a minute. I've also put away all the laundry that finally dried. These are things that you are definitely gonna need. This is like a little hanging thing from Ikea. I've forgotten what it's called, but I'll put it in the description. This can be used for like bras, pants, socks. And it's really useful. You can just hang it up, as you can see, on the curtain pole. Then you can either get one of these, which I got from home base, or you can get a normal clothes horse. You're gonna need it. In this box, I basically keep anything that I definitely need but don't use that often. I have a tool kit, my washing machine tablets and cleaning cloth and wipes, my staple gun in case I ever need it, I've got a sewing kit, I've got everything for my phone just in case, my hair dye I keep in here because obviously I only need that occasionally, I've got stuff ready for Christmas which are left over from last time, building things which I'm still gonna need for my Ikea furniture but don't need at the moment seeing as though I can't fix anything to the wall. But my dustpan and I've got a heavy duty Ikea bag. I keep them in this box so that they're out the way, but I always have them with me. As you can see, I've got two pairs of shoes right there. This is because I've been wearing quite a lot lately. I've got a pair downstairs which I leave by the door in case I ever have to go to the shop. But these ones I've been wearing and I don't need anymore, so I'm gonna show you what I do for my shoe storage, which is under the bed. Keeping them this way allows me to have a lot more floor space than I would if I were keeping them on the floor. And it just tucks away so easily. This storage container is from Ikea and it zips up very easily. And fits perfectly under pretty much any bed. I think it's pretty great. And there it goes. Organisation of my room. That's it. And around there we've got my makeup corner. Such a weird little alcove though. 
there we go. I hope that this video has maybe helped anyone that's about to go into university or people that are moving into a shared house and didn't have a lot of stuff in their uni room but are now going to be having a lot more stuff. Usually a lot more storage space because you have your own furniture instead of the university supplied ones. It's really hot. I've had to turn the fan off for the video but it's really warm. Usually I close the window so that there's no outside noise. I will see you guys next week. See ya!